Hi everyone, um, I'm Gareth and this is my colleague Jilly. We're both ex-primary school teachers and part of the education team with CleverTouch. And CleverTouch are really proud to announce the launch of the latest update to Lynx Whiteboard. That's our free to use presentation software, Lynx 8. Eight reasons to love Lynx 8 are the series of videos that you're now watching one of and we hope you enjoy them. Hi everyone, here's another of our eight reasons to love version eight of Lynx Whiteboard, CleverTouch's free presentation software. So let's have a look. This is reason number six, the math tools. Now the math tools aren't actually new, but they are really worth promoting. They're a fantastic resource that you can use within uh, Lynx Whiteboard. So to showcase some of these, I thought I'd just uh, take you on a little tour of the various places where you'll find math resources. In the plus here, we have insert shape, for example. So there's some go-to shapes that you can drag out very quickly and we can choose a color and bring that on to our background. So we've got a nice rectangle there. Let me choose a, a totally different color. I can even go into the color wheel and we can adjust that slightly. So let's try that with um, a circle uh, there. So we've got those tools. Uh, we also have the ability to mess around with shapes that we bring in, especially if they're circles and rectangles, because in our cutting tools, we have shape split. So as I run my hand around this circle, it will split this shape up into uh, sectors. And when I let go, those are now separate pieces that we can mess around with. And very easy to edit them as well, because of course, whenever you click on something in Lynx Whiteboard, you get the floating toolbar, you're not searching menus, all of the various tools you can use, they're here. So if I want to change the color of that, I can do it really quickly. And of course I can mess around with the size and so on. And I can also choose to do things like show the, the angle size of those sectors as well. If I was to use the same tool, with a rectangle, I can go down for rows and across for columns and again split it. So really good for making arrays for multiplication and so on or grids. Or if you just want to use this as a table so I can join all the pieces together and click in any of the boxes and start typing and filling it in as well. So we also have a fantastic pen resource for math tools, which we will find in here. It is called the um, maths pen nice and easy name to remember and with this we can start to write on the screen so let's do a bit of uh, algebra and it will basically convert your handwriting into mathematical symbols that is an image so I would be able to select that and move it around and shrink it down and, and do whatever I need to with it. Even better though with that pen is that for lots of different equations, we can write them and it will actually convert them and give us the answer in a hide and reveal box as well. So a really big bonus. But the content area is where we'll find most of the really cool maths resources as well. So we're going to go to the plus button here and the show content area and we're going to go to the local content of the board itself first of all we have backgrounds so we've got some various sort of data handling um, performers that you can drag on but we also have interactive grids so when i've popped that onto the page i can edit that so i can choose to change the color of it so the that the grid is clearer, but also I can change the size of the square so you can really tailor it for, to whatever it is that you need to do on the screen as well really easily. And when I click off it, that's now safe in the background layer. If we go home, we also have the maths area here, and these are our interactive maths tools. So I can bring out the protractor and we can decide that maybe we wanna check that that angle is definitely 67 degrees and using these uh, little nodes here we can make sure that we we measure that angle and see exactly what it is and so on and we can even stamp our angle onto there as well we also have things like interactive calendars and so i'll just shrink that down and pop that over there really easily lots of interactive clocks we've got 
dice that you can bring out for probability and compasses and so on and rulers. So lots of tools that you just drag out and then you can start to interact with and use. Also, we have a shapes resource with even more shapes than the insert shape that we started off looking at. So a vast range of ways of bringing mass content onto the screen, interacting with it and getting you up and running. Thank you.